Welcome everybody. So glad you came to join us to for us to talk a little bit about Portugal and your uh, next adventure in, in, in Portugal for high, uh, high school program. Um, so I hope to answer all your questions. So just interrupt me if you would like to know more about our program, if you have any doubts. Uh, or any concerns, we are here just to enlighten you and explain how excited we are to, to host this program. It's, some, it's a program we love to, to organize and we learn so much from it. Uh, so I hope you, I can convince you too about uh, how wonderful our program is. So um, the, today we're just going to talk a little bit about uh lisbon about the program itself the content activities where where our program is hosted and uh any practicalities that you might need um if you want to connect with future fellow travelers you can also talk between each other uh, if you'd like, just to add before we start, um, add the number uh, if you're thinking of coming for session one or for session two, and uh, followed by your name so we can uh, know where we, uh, how to treat you and, and your name. So first of all, uh, again, uh, welcome. This is us. So today we are joined uh, our our local team uh, representatives is two Joannas. So in, in Portugal, we have a limited uh, choice of, of names, as you can see. Uh, I'm the academic director of CI Lisbon and Joanna is the student life coordinator. Uh, we, I manage, I've been managing high school since its beginning. It's, uh, we started to host uh, high school program in Portugal in 2017. It's been from the start, a program uh, dedicated to our wonderful aquatic ecosystem. So it's, as you can see, a country that half of its frontiers is the sea and uh, has a lot of uh, other aquatic ecosystems as rivers, uh, lagoons, estuaries, and we will explore uh, all these different ecosystems in Portugal. It's also a country that has been uh, investing a lot in, in uh, sustainability and, uh, and we have a lot of research on the area. So uh, we will also uh, explore the theme on several uh, aspects like uh, economy, uh, the um, environment protection, uh, and we'll do community service related to the subject as well. Why choose uh, Portugal? I mean, Portugal ha is a small country, uh, but it's very diverse. So the south is very different from the north, the center is very different. Uh, from the rest of the country, and the coast is very different from the interior. And here we'll be able to explore the ocean, but also all the very different ecosystems, all in an European country with, with its perks and uh, also very much influenced by different um, historical influences. Um, it's an old country. It's one of the oldest countries in Europe. Its frontiers have been very stable for more than 800 years. It's, uh, it's, uh, its history is present all over the country and in Lisbon in particular with, uh, with ruins from Roman times, churches from Middle Ages and the contemporary urban and uh, country landscapes. Uh, and we'll have the chance to explore uh, sites, city, different cities and different monuments. The program is quite, uh, quite uh, middle, me, medium size. It's not a huge program. It's not a very small program. But it's a, a, the, the right amount of fellow students where you can always find your 
uh, like-minded uh, friends, but also know different types of students from all over the US. Uh, and because of these three weeks will be very, uh, very intense in a way, you will um, know your fellow uh, students very well and, uh, and, and you can share with them uh, your experiences and your love for aquatics. The vast majority of Portuguese know English, so it's, a, it's the Portuguese language is quite difficult uh, to master, but um, because of that, uh, even Portuguese uh, learn English from an early age, so uh, especially in, in urban centers, you'll never uh, feel that, that you can't communicate, you'll never feel alone. Um, and uh, during the program, we also have access to a few Portuguese language classes that introduce you to the language and will make you uh, kind of uh, uh, an expert on very simple phrases so you can navigate easily. Portugal is also considered one of the safest countries in the world. Many rankings put it in the in the, the first three places as the, the first safest destinations. Uh, it's it, you don't see crime and and the crime rates are really low. The the, the highest you know the most common crime is pickpocketing because of tourism uh, especially but it's very very safe you'll feel very safe while while here and we have wonderful pastries to choose from why you love aquatics ecosystem and sustainability in portugal so the program is uh, really fun uh, you'll meet local teachers and speakers You'll have a lot of hands-on activities. The, the program is based mostly in, in outdoor classes, um, very experimental activities, of, including observation, uh, data gathering, and uh, experimenting of several kinds. Lesson plans are always uh, coordinated uh, with excursions and activities, so everything is very integrated. And Lisbon, I mean, it's you'll be based in Lisbon, and Lisbon is a beautiful uh, city full of history and with a cosmopolitan uh, taste that you'll, you'll love, I think. Daily activities and excursions include visits to historical Lisbon, to Mar, Setubal, and other little towns. Dolphin watching, snorkeling, kayaking, surfing, cooking class, dance class, soccer, volleyball, and other sports at the beach, especially beach cleanup, sustainable farm practices, and, and all activities and expressions linked to life and aspect of the day's lesson. So as you can see, it includes sports activities, outdoors activities, uh, observation in the sea, in the river, um, a lot of um, fun games and you also be involved in, in giving back to the community in community service activities such as uh, beach cleanup. You'll be, you'll be based uh, together in, in a dorm. Uh, you'll learn to live as a group. Program leaders and local staff will live with you. You'll have access to double rooms. All meals are included. So you have breakfast at dorm or hotel, other meals are catering, catering stipend or local restaurants, hangout, group evening activities, and, and of course, uh, Wi-Fi. So if you have any questions regarding housing, I, I know that some students uh, can stress about it, but we can tell you that our experience that is that your, our students always uh, have a good experience in the uh, hotels, hostels, or the ones that uh, we'll be traveling to and uh, are very safe, uh, always with uh, security and cleaning services uh, and Wi-Fi that you, I know that's very important for you all. 
COVID-19 in Portugal nowadays is very controlled. Uh, face masks are only mandatory in pharmacies and hospitals. Uh, at the moment, no quarantine or self isolation is mandatory for positive cases. If you are symptom free, you can uh, go out uh, of your room uh, and use masks for class uh, classes and activities. Of course, we will keep, always keep everyone updated in case any major changes of policies in Portugal. Okay, so uh, this is a very brief description of our wonderful program. Um, please feel free to ask any questions that you might have and we'll be very happy to, to answer uh, your questions. No questions? I was gonna say, I'm also, a, okay, there we go. <laughs> There's one in the chat. It says, are we going to need prior experience of aquatic ecosystems before the trip? Sorry, if I, 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 uh, let me see if I can understand the question better. Uh, you don't need any prior, you don't need any prior uh, experience whatsoever before uh, coming. So our experience, we have always host students with different uh, experiences or courses that they did of different kinds of uh, interests. Um, the, the course is designed to, to all different levels of uh, STEM uh, knowledge and courses. Uh, we have always um, very, our classes have always uh, go from the basic informative to uh, current trends of research. So we, we are uh, open to a different level of students uh, and you don't need uh, any prior experience of aquatic ecosystems. We have also students that have never seen the sea, for instance, uh, and that's that's totally okay. So we are here to 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 teach you and show you uh, aquatic ecosystems if you haven't before. Any other questions? Um, I wanted to mention that I didn't get a chance to introduce myself, but I am an enrollment coordinator for CIEE. And so I work the applications. Um, and so if anybody has any questions in regards to applications, feel free to ask those and I can answer them. Thank you. By the way, I will take advantage of that and introduce myself because I didn't have the opportunity. So hello everyone, I'm happy to, that you're here. I'm Diada Joana <laughs> uh, and I'm a marine biologist and I'm helping Joana with our program. So feel free to ask any questions. No, there are no silly questions at all. Okay, are you curious about any aspects? So field trips. Um, so field trips, we, we are based in, in Lisbon. As I said, for uh, hands-on classes, we go every day, almost every day to a beach or a, a river ecosystem or a lagoon. Um, so different different areas. So you always every day you have a few classes indoor, but all other classes are outdoor. Uh, field uh, field trips we'll do to Tumar, 
which is a city on the north of Lisbon, where uh, one of the most important rivers, bigger rivers of, of the country is. So that's where we'll explore um, river ecosystem and do kayaking. But also it's a very beautiful uh, historical town, it has a beautiful castle, it used to belong to the Templars order. Uh, and we'll visit the castle and we'll talk a little bit about uh, history and we'll have the opportunity to explore uh, the town center as well. Um, also, we will um, go to uh, Setubal, which is a city 50 minutes away south from Lisbon. Uh, again, it's a, a beautiful town, uh, fisherman's town. Uh, coastal town. It has uh, a beautiful estuary where a community of dolphins live. So that's where we'll do our dolphin watching for the program. Uh, we'll go also to uh, Cascais, where uh, not far away from Lisbon as well, uh, which is also a very historical and beautiful uh, town of Portugal. Uh, if I understand your question, Eva, um, uh, so we, aquatic ecosystems include, so ocean, coast and deep ocean and uh, river and coastal lagoons. So these are aquatic ecosystems. Of course, they are similar, that are similar with in other uh, parts of the world. Uh, with its own specific, specificities of being in, uh, in the northern hemisphere uh, in a temperate climate, right? So um, I don't know if that answers your question or you mean in classes if there will be comparisons with other ecosystems from other parts of the world? I can answer that it will, but it will depend so teachers will do that comparison case by case, if that makes sense in the structure of the, of the class. Does that answer your question, Eva? Okay. Uh, so um, the final project. So uh, uh, for the final project, you, you will, at the end of the first week, uh, you will discuss with instructors the themes uh, available for you to, to work on your projects. The themes will have to do with the several themes that we'll explore during the course, such as during different ecosystems, the challenges that environmental challenges they face, the um, uh, can have different themes on, on sustainability, uh and and so you'll have your themes at the end of first week during the second week you will work with your groups to to build your portfolio for the project and to come up with with an outline a project at the end of the second week uh, and then on for the final week you will uh work on your uh on your uh presentation, so fi finalizing your project and do final presentations. So the presentations should be on the themes, normally uh, uh, a theme, again, uh, related to ecosystems and sustainability, and you will uh, come up with a challenge uh, to, related to that, to that theme and solutions to, to answer to that challenge. So our presentations will be will be done on the on the Thursday before the program ends. Uh, instructors will give you feedback uh, at that day, and that's the end of the final project. We'll use sorry, answer you also. We'll use Canvas during the program. And so you can always, uh, during the program, uh, you'll be in communication with instructors and submit the, the, the outline of the project and your individual portfolios and the group presentations there as well.
Hope it answers your question, Christopher. So it's it's a project that includes research, observation, and solutions for the for the program of time. So, as I, I said before, so we have um, a few uh, indoor classes. Those classes include introduction to aquatic ecosystems, and then several different uh, aspects of the program, including you know different uh, aspects that will be covered during the the field classes. Uh, you have several sessions during those afternoons or mornings that you have indoor classes. You'll have other ses sessions uh, to reflect and discuss on current themes uh, regarding aquatic ecosystems and sustainability, like climate uh, uh, trends and um, pollution and uh, communities uh, uh, facing um, climate challenges or other environmental issues. And, uh, and then you'll have the majority of classes will be going to those ecosystems where you'll do uh, observations in location using different types of uh, not only uh, instruments like you know your own senses but also binoculars or um, uh, other instruments that normally are used by scientists to observe nature and then uh, you'll do uh, data recording or experimenting uh, assessing the conditions of the different uh, ecosystems uh, and then uh, debriefings on location as well, uh, including uh, the use of a journal that you use uh, during all the activities and classes uh, throughout the program. Um, I hope it's answered your question, Bianca. Uh, so phone lines. No, so phones, the idea, we, you, we want you to be engaged in our activities. So the idea is that in classes, of course, you limit the use of phones, but you have for access. First, in Portugal, the Wi-Fi is very good. So you'll have access if you want to keep your phones. You can, you know, at the door, most hotels, hotels schools, uh, even beaches nowadays, some, some of them have Wi-Fi, cafes, restaurants, so it's very easy to access Wi-Fi and be uh, uh, in, in connection uh, throughout our classes and activities. But what, when you arrive, we will give you a local phone uh, with a local uh, phone number that doesn't have access to internet, doesn't have data, it's only for em emergencies, so you can be contacted and you can contact us at any time. Uh, it's uh, a phone for emergencies, especially. Um, so I think you'll be covered. I don't, our students normally don't have any problem uh, regarding communications. So free time is will will be uh, of course you'll have uh, free time to explore. So we'll make sure that in all little towns we go, we always give you uh, free time to explore on your own, with with several rules. So the program has its own rules regarding free time. You always have, for instance, to pair up, so you don't you don't uh, travel by yourself. But you'll have a free time to to be to be exploring uh, on your own. Yes. Um, of course, it's a busy program. It's it's we have a lot to show you and for you to learn. Uh, so the free time will be organized throughout uh, the program uh, to make sure that we cover everything we want to cover. 
but we'll make sure to, to have for you to, you know, even at the beach, to enjoy the beach for yourselves and to uh, enjoy Lisbon as well. Hope you, I did answer your questions. Any any other question or any other uh, topic that you'd like to to explore? No, all all answered. <laughs> If you want to know anything, we are always, always available. Can I, if there's no more questions, can I, before you, before you leave, can I suggest that you apply before December 1st so you can enter Eiffel to fly free. So you have a, ch a chance to fly free. So I, if I were you, I would fill out your application by December 1st. Uh, apply using also uh, a looming link to save $200 uh, dollars if you know an alumni. Can decide which site to travel this summer. Attend your, our general info session or our alumni discussion panel on Wednesday at 8 p.m. And see all sessions and registration links on cie.org slash dnfair. So hope you I see you this summer. We're very excited to meet you uh, this this coming summer, and uh, we I can you know reinforce again that normally we have a lot of fun with our students, and students really enjoy being in Portugal exploring aquatic ecosystems and sustainability with us. Yes, and don't forget you can always contact us if you have any questions or doubts or anything at all. Okay. Sharon, is there anything you would like to add? Um, I just want to say that if you haven't started an application, you know, now would be a great time to begin the application. Um, feel free to reach out to HS Abroad. I'll put that in the chat as well. Um, CIEE.org. Um, and then you can also call our line and get in touch with an enrollment coordinator. I'm adding that number in there as well. Um, yes, I believe yeah, that's correct. Um, and so just definitely wanted to just feel free to just, you know, reach out to us, we can answer any application questions. I know this was specifically for, you know, the ecosystems program. However, um, if you have more questions or something comes up after this, and you want more details, um, definitely reach out to us at that email, and we'll definitely be happy to help you. Um, does anybody have any last questions on applications or anything that's what I'm here for <laughs> so <laughs> feel free to drop them in if not you can contact us or email us and an enrollment coordinator in your region will respond um, to you so but thank you guys for being here this was exciting because I don't ever really get to hear more about the programs I just kind of read stuff that they give us but it's nice to be able to connect connect with you guys um, and actually hear more about the program and the in-depth details so really awesome um, I know we're also for those of you who are considering other programs I know we're also going to be saving the recordings and the presentations so just you know wait on that and those will be sent out to you guys as well so So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Hope to see you next summer.